Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4. We're back with Jim Pickens in his lovely house. He's fallen asleep in the bed, but don't worry, he'll be fine. But underneath the house, we have built a vault. <laughs> we moved them in here uh, yesterday. I shouldn't claim I built this. I'm not skilled enough to do anything like this. We've locked everyone down here except for Jim. He's allowed to stay up top because he's like the overseer of the vault. You know, it doesn't look like he's overseeing much right now. What is that music? Who the hell is listening to that? Okay, good. It's gone back to sad sim music now. That's more familiar. <laughs> I got this mod where I can assign people chores and no one else will clean while I have someone assigned. So I want to make one person the cleaning sim of the vault. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, it's going to be Santa because I don't like you. You <laughs> clean every day and you clean every hour of the day. <laughs> will this work? <laughs> if I'm right with the mod settings I have on, they shouldn't even clean up after themselves now that there's a cleaner assigned. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Can you clean me? <laughs> what the hell have I been doing? And we're gonna try and make everyone writers. I think that's a good idea. I think that'll get us a lot of money in the long run. Oh god, that's made Shrek very tense. He's writing his biography, Shrek, A Life of Layers. <laughs> I'm writing an angry note for Clement. He's not cleaning enough. Look, this is still down here. Why isn't he clean this? I guess because it's not technically trash yet. Serial monogamist? Who got that? For four marriages and 20 unique households. What? Who got married? <laughs> I didn't give you permission for that. You need the overseer's blessing for that. Wait, why is Shrek gaming? You need to write your autobiography. Servo's already done their book. There we go. Grimm's finished too. Grimm's will make a lot of money. He's a good writer. Capture Sim's life in an epic poem? Sure, do that. <laughs> What's happening to you? Oh, he's cleaning. <laughs> or going mad. I can't tell which look at this they're all working away except my dad who's just playing video games i think which is a shame because i think he'd be a pretty good uh ghost writer <laughs> uh, uh. you just hear everyone unsubscribing disliking clicking the x the writing machines i wonder is he nearly done his autobiography he almost is god it must be really short if he's almost done already <laughs> i guess he didn't really get up to much in his life did he well, oh my god i thought he was just gonna tickle her or something oh no look at this it's so uncomfortable now you need to read it to make sure it's good you gotta check for spelling errors and whatnot his fun is maximized from reading this book okay it must be good oh my god he's got so many books to to sell to publishers. Do you actually have to go to the mailbox? Because if so, you're not allowed. He gets so pissed off at my dad. Grim is always bored, but when he's around my dad, he gets pissed off because he's lingering around and he won't move on. Capture Jim's epic sag. I like how there was an option for just a cat. <laughs> Grim has recorded Jim Pickens in the Book of Life. This is great. Will this possibly bring me back if I need it? <laughs> Let's just keep that in your inventory for now. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can take his books to publish them. <laughs> I want the credit. And you're not even getting a ghostwriter credit. Oh, God damn it, I can't. Okay, good. I cheated and got the mailbox inside. I had to place it outside the boundary and then build a wall around it with a cheat. And it's been nominated for an award. Oh, you are so welcome, Grim. The Book of Life is a bestseller. People want to read about Jim. I understand. Contemplated turning it into a book myself, but I'm worried that it'll take on some kind of Bible-esque reputation and there'll be a whole religion formed. And, you know, it's a lot of work. I just, ah, nah. Thank goodness Grim is a celebrity once again. He must be a very good writer. Yeah. God, he's freaking out. He really wants to drink. I'm gonna lock him in the bathroom until he feels better. There we go. Now, when you feel better, come on out. You can't even see him in the mirror because he's a vampire. God, he's gonna have like an existential crisis in there or something. Just one of the many experiments in vault tech. <laughs> They're like, hmm, Jim, interesting experiment. And what does this prove? <laughs> and he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm just torturing. <laughs> kind of rivalry is broken out. They're just staring at each other. This is very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave you there. <laughs> Wait, how's Jim ill? Which of you gave him an illness? He's trying to get reception. He's like, oh, please, come on. <laughs> get me out of here. The cleaning seems to be working. I don't know if he's cleaning it with his outfit, though, because he's filthy. Or maybe that's why he's so stinky. He's just working up his sweat. But then again, Jim Pickett Higgins is dancing too and he looks fine. The only issue is the only bathroom in this entire place is locked. <laughs> They're not allowed to use it. I don't want any rumors to start flying without my knowledge, so I'm gonna buy some spy bugs and bug everyone in the vault. I gotta know what they're doing at all times. Plant bug. Oh my god, what? He's getting sick. Okay, well I planted the bug, but I think I have a bug myself. Maybe it's a good time to write that book of life now. Capture epic saga. There you go. <laughs> it's important. Because <laughs> he's not looking so good. Right, quick, while he's broken, plant a bug on him. There you go. <laughs> you should know 
know something is up as soon as he hugs you. Not sure how I can plant a bug on my ghost dad, but we're gonna give it a shot. There you go. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Use the listening device. I need a listening device. <laughs> oh, I think I've already got two of those, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's great. God, this is the only human affection this guy's ever gotten. He should definitely suspect something. Jim Pickens is feeling flirty after placing all these bugs on people. Okay, everyone is bugged. Now let's use the listening device. Wait, why do I have one on this kid? <laughs> I don't remember doing that. I know he was my prisoner briefly and then I de-aged him. He was old. I gave him a new chance at life, okay? I'm a good guy. I like how it's like a little tracker. <laughs> I think we know where we are. And we can't leave because that crazy kid is trying to kill us, right? Oh my god, what are you doing to them now? <laughs> okay. You sure no one is listening? Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> Who's he talking to? I think he's talking to himself. Yeah, he is. He's reading a book. Maybe that was just a line of the book. I don't know. Things are going pretty well. I think we have to go out into the world and get another prisoner. Oh, well, hello. That's convenient. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, great. Another vampire. I don't know if I can stick another vampire. You know what I could do with, though? A little barbecue. We're going to make a nice little garden area. All right, Jim's actually a really good chef, so this is going to be nice. What do vampires like eating? Veggie burgers, right? Where'd my veggie burgers go? What the hell? <laughs> All right, we're going to have some grilled fruit instead. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't say steamed hams. I said grilled fruit. Okay, where is he putting them? <laughs> He's just getting sick every time he makes food. Oh, he put them in his inventory. No, don't go away. Serve the food. There you go. Yummy. He doesn't look too happy about the food. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Would it help if I bled on it a bit? <laughs> I think I have some blood downstairs. Like, not even exaggerating. I'm pretty... Yeah, there we go. There's a little plasma pack. We got some very used needles in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, he's looking really bad. I think I should actually go to the hospital. <laughs> but after this lovely garden chat, I think the sun's about to come up. <laughs> okay, now he's screaming at him. <laughs> he just realized... I'm evil from that. I've got my drone recording him. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has got to be a bit unsettling. It's cloudy. Someone get on that weather machine. Clement, go. Stop cooking for everyone. Shrek is busy. You're the only one who can do this. Scridge! God, Jim's still screaming at him. He's just screaming at him constantly. Okay, I think it's working. Great. I hear some burning and I don't think it's the fruit. Uh, <laughs> I don't think there's any point in getting dressed for work at this point. You know what? Um, barbecue's over. I gotta, I gotta go. Good thing I've got this whole thing recorded though. <laughs> He's giving out to him one last time. <laughs> he looks so sad. <laughs> and the happy little drone behind him recording him burning. I hope you have life insurance and that covers that chair. <laughs> oh, very considerate that you got up out of the chair. God, this is gonna make some good content, right drone? <laughs> He's doing like shifty eyes. <laughs> He's like, uh, I don't I think this is what I was made for. Oh my god, it's recording the whole thing, even the Grim Reaper. That in the garden. Video file description. Lol. He looked so dumb. <laughs> Very respectful. <laughs> I'll swap that over to my hard drive soon. All right, now let's actually hit the town and get some more members for my vault. Wait, why does the Grim Reaper hate me so much? <laughs> Was it because I went and dated another Grim Reaper? Look, you just stopped caring for your body, okay? It's not a weight thing. It's just you sit around doing nothing. You're boring. You don't even seem to take pride in your work anymore. Speaking of no pride in your work, <laughs> the other Grim is just fired because <laughs> he's locked down in the vault. All right, where should I go meet new people? Um, I think the hospital. It would be a great spot. Alternatively, karaoke might be fun. Duh! <laughs> Uncomfortable. Duh, Duh. Duh. Stop it! Oh my god, Shrek is sick too. <laughs> I think the whole vault is infected. It must be there's something in the events or something like that. Here, I'm gonna visit the karaoke bar with this child. <laughs> Wait, hold on. George Cahill. Isn't that my kid? I think I adopted him, actually, and I think he got taken away from me. I killed a guy called George Cahill, and I was like, oh, well, that name's free now. <laughs> and I named him George Cahill. It is him. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Do I bring back bad memories? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Pick him up. You're mine now. You're mine again. <laughs> Run. Back to the vault. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Loss of the family. Losing a parent. <laughs> is it because I kidnapped him from his new parents? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're locked in here now. That's all I needed to do. Just get him inside the gate. Now I can go do karaoke. He'll either find his way down into the vault or he'll just die there. <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> Why is no one looking? All right, fine. Uh, since no one's looking, Jim, take this opportunity to throw out all that spoiled food. Wait, no, don't bring it over there. Uh, keep it away from every... Okay. <laughs> it's like a siren song trying to lure them into the vault. Come on. You like what you hear? If you moved in with me, you'd hear me all the time. Wait, no, come back. You like this? It sounds a bit like Johnny Cash. 
cash if you ask me. I am the man in black after all. <laughs> Come back. Hey, that's my piss you're walking through. You're not gonna move in with me then stay out of my piss. All right, the public isn't working. I, a kidnapping work, great. I'm gonna go kidnap someone. Someone famous who will give me a high ransom if I'm ever caught. That's how ransoms work, right? I'm gonna get this guy implicated in the crime for no apparent reason. I just want a scapegoat. If it goes to court, I'll try and pin it all on him and I'll be like, Judge, please. I have like six dependents and they're all locked in that vault and unless I go back they're all gonna die down there. Why is Harry Potter here? Wait, I can't get in because you need a relationship with them because they're famous. Alright fine, I gotta get their attention somehow. Ignore Jim making magic gestures. That was just an act of God. Oh god damn it. Alright again, there you go. You should have stayed in the same spot because like lightning never strikes twice and it was totally lightning. How does he keep getting out of this? He's across the street just shooting fire at him but he keeps moving. Yes, okay, finally. Someone's on fire. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Good thing you came outside. Mabel is very hungry. Who the hell is Mabel? All right, never mind. You're coming with me, celebrity. I'm becoming a super villain. Let's appreciate it before we uh, take her away. That's very nice. All right, thanks for being my distraction. I'll see you around. This guy always calls me. Oh, wait, is he actually gonna die? Okay, I think he's dead. I guess that's what happens when no one extinguishes the fire. I'm used to someone actually doing it. Jim, you're standing uncomfortably close to that fire. Could we get you out of there? Could you go home? Harry Potter, he is like... Five minutes ago, my life was fine. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. Avoid the tripwire as you're coming in. What's her fame level? Global superstar. Uh, can you make good YouTube videos or something? What can you do from the vault? <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna be a handful, isn't she? <laughs> Look, uh, you're a star. I get that. But you gotta wear the uniform. Wait, use the video station to upload any video footage you captured. Our ad agency will cut up your footage to get what they need. Oh, a sponsor deal. Oh, I love it. I never turn one down. There we got space in the storage room. That'll be your backdrop. I mean, that's what this screen screen is hiding. All right, we got death in the garden. <laughs> Let's edit that. Can we make that into a beauty video? <laughs> yeah. Wait, why are you saluting her? <laughs> You're not involved with this channel. She reacted in disgust. <laughs> Judith, that footage is ace. Our editors are already recutting it to meet the needs of the client. Fantastic. Good job, Judith. You're officially a content creator. <laughs> okay, now she's got the mandatory uniform and everything. She's assimilating well. <laughs> she's kind of pissed. <laughs> oh no, she's in denial, actually. Okay, great. We've got a new vault member who uh, contributes to the vault. You know, I don't want to just get anyone for this vault. I feel like everyone should have a purpose. Granted, I have some really useless people in the vault already, like not singling anyone out. But yeah, we're going to leave it at that for today. If you have any suggestions for the vault, do let me know. You know, this is a democracy in here, even though it may not look like it. It's just all filtered through one man. He is the funnel and we are the mess of ideas going into it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching as always, folks. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.